presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Become immune to poison. Don't take anything personally. The whole world can gossip about you, and if you don't take it personally, you are immune. Immunity to poison in the middle of hell is the gift of the second agreement. <laughs> Excuse me. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 161, NASDAQ off 166, S&P's down 26. Gold, gold contract up $2.30, traded at 2037 an ounce. You get silver. Down 17 cents, twenty-two dollars ninety-six cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up ninety-two cents, seventy-seven dollars ninety-six cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. Ten year note down nine ticks, trading one hundred nine twenty-one. The thirty year off eighteen at one seventeen twenty-nine. And King Dollar, King Dollar right now is trading down seventy-three ticks, one hundred four zero zero six euros at one hundred eight. Yen's out here at one fifty. British pounds at one twenty-six to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. Now, the world of the markets, man, this is a trip, okay? So yesterday, what we had had, let's take a look at the S&P first. Okay, so what we had out here yesterday is even on the SPY, the SPY did uh, 71 million shares going into 113 million, okay? We're at 33 million today, folks, okay? This is saying that we're gonna get a bounce here, man. So it's Wednesday, right? Yeah, this is telling me, you know, uh, I, I, I was, <laughs> this is gonna get interesting, it's because this is all happening as we're speaking right now. And the camp that the NASDAQ wants to come down to this high volume low, the second high volume low, not the one it's going into right now. Yeah, let me go to the queues for a second. Because there's something happening here that is pretty intense. And what it is, the contraction inside the queues is just huge, man. You know, yesterday we did 52 million. We're at 35. The queues broke a swing with 64, at 64, but only did. 53. The higher, lower one is 64. So we'll wait the hour out just to see whether this thing does explode, you know, up to the 50s. But I don't think it's going to happen, man. 35 million. And if, let's go over to the NDX. So if we go over to the NDX and take a look at it right off the bat, what you're going to see. Palo Alto is the loser out here today, down 28%. Z-Scale is down 14 CrowdStrike's down 10 You got Exelon up 3 Kraft Heinz is up 1 Now let's go to Palo Alto. If, if you want to see price and volume, folks, Palo Alto does it. This is about as intense as it gets. You know, it, it's down $104. But if you want to see the last day with volume, check it out, man. I mean, it's almost hard to believe. Yeah, one second. Let me put this. Let's put this on. 
Oh no, I got the key. I'll keep it on a daily. One second. Okay. What you're going to see here is that this equity, let me put it six months. I'll put it on a six month so you can see how clear this is. This equity kept going. Here it is right here. That's one volume. Um, what did I do? I put this on a weekly, I think. Let me put this on a weekly for a second. Yeah, it was on a weekly, I put it. So on a weekly, what you're going to see is this. This baby came right down to the last time. It's actually going to go a little bit lower. It's going to go to 247. It hit 260 so far. But what you're going to see is that there it is, 264. That from 264 on, and it went all the way up to 380, it had no volume. Now, what happens with equities in general, right, is that you never know when they're going to come back to the last day with volume. But I can tell you, man, they do it on, on a continual basis. I mean, you're talking in the 90s, percentile mark, not, not 60, not 70. And <laughs> this one did it in a day. Now, you, because you're coming down so hard, my take is we'll go to the next level, which is a 247. Now, that being said, now watch this, because now that's down hard and fast, right? But there's something inside the NDX 100 that is saying it's not going to get smoked. So now let's go over to the NVIDIA, because the bottom line is that there's an 11, right now in the option market, there's 11% uh, implied move. So that's about $70, okay, either way. Now, it came off the high. Yesterday, you had volume off the high, slowing down today. My take is this is going to go a little bit lower, but only a little bit lower. Oh, excuse me, folks. Sorry about that. Um, you know, you have, we'll see how it holds. I, I think 634, I think, is going to be game here. That's where it broke out from. Let me put this on a week for a second. Yeah, I don't see any big destruction. And I, now what I'm doing here, I'm definitely, I'm looking at this, because you can see the volume at the highs is not bad. You had two weeks of not bad volume at the highs. But right there, here, yeah, this is the number. Here, yeah, this is the number right here. What number is this? Okay. Well, that's, that's down a bit. Hold on. That's five. Well, no, that's 583. That's 583. Yeah, that's how this seems to be set up. We'll see. But I don't think it's going to, well, we'll see how this shakes out. But if that's down to 583, something else is going to be up quite a bit. Because the amount of volume inside of the queues is saying it wants to bounce. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow down 176, NASDAQ off 162, S&P's down 26. We're coming right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow's off 187, Nasdaq's down 161, S&P's down 26. So let's talk about the Fed a little. So the Fed numbers came out from the last uh, meeting, folks, okay? And uh, the bottom line is that uh, most Federal uh, Reserve officials last month uh, flagged concerns over moving too quickly to cut interest rates, indicating that such risk outweighed keeping borrowing costs elevated for too long. The minutes of the January 30-31st meeting uh, showed policymakers remain attentive to the trajectory of inflation, with some worried that progress toward the central bank's 2% target could stall. Together, the record reinforced the Fed's preference for more evidence that inflation is firmly in place. Most participants noted the risk of moving too quickly to ease the stance of policy and emphasized the importance of carefully assessing income data and judging whether inflation is moving down substantially to the 2% number, according to the minutes. Only a couple of the officials pointed to the risk to the economy from waiting too long. Participants did uh, highlight uncertainty associated with how long a restrictive monetary policy would need to be maintained. That being said, uh, they do feel that we are at peak rates right now. Uh, let's see how they put this. Uh, they were they were unanimously uh, they voted unanimously not to, to basically go on change. They, they're saying that yeah we're at peak rates. Um, they're just worried, man. <laughs> you, can, you can tell my my word for it, scared because <laughs> uh, that's how Powell was on the stage that day. So we'll see where it shakes out, man. We go over to the bond market. You know, the 10 year right now is wavering, man. The 10 year, this is the fifth day we've been at these lows. He did two million shares today. Now, the bright part of this, so check this out. So watch this with price and volume, how this works. I was talking about yesterday, you know, you're, you're coming down, you're coming down into a, a 2.5 million contract low. Okay, so we've been here six days now. Yesterday, you know, you end up doing 1.9, which is nice, except it wasn't getting away from the low. Today, you're doing two, and you're not getting away from the low. That's, you know, that's a problem. That's, when you stay here too long, 
you can drift down to the next one pretty quickly. Let me go to the TLT and see what the TLT is doing. So if we take a look at the TLT, because the TLT, oh, interesting, okay. Yeah, so what the TLT is doing, it's doing the same thing, but look at the contraction of volume here. We're, we're gonna turn, these markets are gonna turn. This is kind of cool, man, I'm digging this. Okay, so check this out, folks. Look at this. So the TLT is coming into 49 million shares with 24. Now, the price hasn't held, okay? But when we went up last Friday, we went up with 49 million. You're testing 49 million with 24 million. That's telling me that whatever's gonna happen after the close out here today is gonna pop this market tomorrow. So this is gonna be pretty wild watching it because right now they wanna goose this S&P lower. Let's take a look here. So you're down 30 bucks. Volume's still light, but they're gonna, they're gonna get this price going, man. Yeah, I suspect they're gonna get the price going. Let's go take a look at the Dow Industrials. Inside the Dow, I mean, the Dow's off 215, but that's nothing, man. When you're, when you're talking, we're talking a 38,000 number, okay? And inside the Dow, the strength versus the weakness out here, you get Nike putting eight points, Caterpillar seven, nothing big. Well, of course, nothing big as you're down. Uh, Goldman seven, taken away from it. Salesforce minus 44, IBM minus 30. Let's go to Microsoft because when we were talking with that man, Tim Ord yesterday, I was explaining simultaneously that Microsoft had already hit. I was going after the lows, yeah. See, Microsoft's testing out here today. Test, it's testing, we got to 397. Oh, look at this, man. You gotta look at this. The low, the high volume low on Microsoft is 397.21. We hit 397.22 today. You get 11 million shares versus 47 million. So we'll see whether it can turn around. It, it hasn't turned around on price yet, but that is also saying the squeeze is on and meaning specifically when the squeeze is on that you're coming down, there's no more sellers on the way down. Now the real question is, and this happens in the gold market a lot, doesn't happen in the S&P and, and the NASDAQ as much, is that then where are the buyers? The buyers always come in quicker inside of the two major indices, the S&P and the NDX 100. Let's go to the small caps just to take a look at them. Yeah, see, this is, this is pulling back a light volume, man. We're gonna bounce. We're bouncing. Let me go to the trend just for a second. We had a big trend reading yesterday. Yeah, so you're in a, only at a 9.0 today. We closed it at 1.34 yesterday. 9.0 is not saying too much. We'll take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. Let's see. NVIDIA is a big one. That's down 27. Palo Alto, we already talked about. That's down over 100. Apple is just about flat, down 45 cents. Oh, you want to see something? Yeah, Toll Brothers. Toll Brothers broke out today. Toll Brothers numbers come in. They were good numbers, man. Toll Brothers up 382. Let's see if this is going to be an ABC up. Uh... I don't think it's going to be an ABC up, but this was this was a big number. So Toll Brothers, they came in with, excuse me, 1.9 billion, 225 to the bottom line, and excuse me, my God, um, here's the quote. So it's mid January. We have a meaningful uptick in demand that has continued through this past weekend, the CEO said. The bill to lift its outlook for homes deliveries in the fiscal year. Stocks up 6.5%. Toll Brothers comments signal a strong start to the bill this typically busiest season. You know, what you have out here inside the 
business in general, folks, okay, is that if, if rates have peaked, which I think they have, I think going the other side of the cycle, and you start seeing rates going down, what's going to happen with housing? Housing going to go up. It's going to go up ASAP, too. Dow, Dow Industrials right now uh, trading down 179. Got the Nasdaq off 151. S&Ps are down 24. Uh, gold, gold contract, uh, still holding pretty good. Down four bucks, 2035, and silver is at uh, 2291. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's off 165, Nasdaq's off 146, S&P's down 23. And after the close, we got, we got a lot of numbers coming out after the close. Inside the... Uh, metals market, uh, you get uh, Pan American Silver. Now, this has been in the doghouse for a while. So the low's 12, the high's 19. You trade at 1291. Let's see what they're saying they want to do here. Okay. So they're looking to do 659 million and bring 13 cents to the bottom line. And if they do that, that stock's going to go up <laughs> because that stock has only done one thing. You know, this is always, this, this stock's highly volatile, but you know, we went from 17 down to 12. Pull this back a bit. 
Yeah. So that low can still get tested, though. 1256. Hey, we'll see where that baby shakes out after the close. The copper market, HG, th this baby's on its way to 405. You know, so that's saying that something's happening in general in the world economy. 60,000 contracts out here today. It's been a one-way move for the last four days. Huge volume. If we do this, watch HG1. I'll put this on a generic contract so you can see how we tie these together. And then put this on a weekly. And... That's sticking out right there. Was it four oh seven? We got four oh seven. Because when you take a look at this, what you're gonna see also is that oh, I did a point six one eight. That was a deep retracement. Last time we went down there it was a deep retracement, but this thing still looks to me like it's on the run to that four oh five to four oh seven mile number. And if you get that, we go over to We go to the SCCO. Okay, that's the biggest copper stock in the world. It's up 81 cents, no big deal. TGB, these things move when copper moves. That's flat out here today, but this one was higher price too. I think we got, this thing was 195 or something. Let's go to uh, Bob in Southern California. Hey, Bob, what's going on, brother? Oh, uh, fine, Tom. How are you? I'm doing good, man. Yourself? Uh, it doesn't get any better than this, Tom. That's a beautiful thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if you could uh, give me a, an entry point for Plantier, PLTR. Let's take a look. You got Plantier Technologies. Right now, it's trading twenty-two sixty-five. The low is seven dollars nineteen cents. The high is twenty-five. They come out with their numbers on May 8th. Okay, oh, interesting. I see what you're looking at. Oh, yeah. So, you get a breakout. Hey, let me put this on a weekly for a second. Okay, that's quite a bar. Uh, so, the, you broke out at 1648. What happened, folks, two weeks ago went from sixteen forty eight to twenty five dollars. The closer you can get to this sixteen ninety eight, Bob, the better off you are. I mean, I know that's a long way away from where we are right now. Um, but these things get dangerous um, when you buy them up at this level. Do you know what I mean? Because a normal pullback, that's no, a norm, that's a that's a normal pullback, and then it can take off again. So let's just let me just look at this for a second. So this oh one second. Hold on, let's see. So you have a short interest of five point eight one. It's not bad. Not great, not bad. So you're not gonna get a squeeze. May eighth is when they're coming out with the numbers. I would just sit there and you know, just wait, man. Because the problem is is that if you buy it here, a normal retracement brings it back to its breakout area, which is 1650. And then when you take a look at this on a larger basis, oh, hold it, wait there for a second. Oh boy, hold it one second. This is an ABC up. 21. Okay, one second, eight. Oh boy. You got you get a 12.8 a B. Okay, cool. No, you still want to wait because that's 27. So you get a 12.8 to B. It hit 25.52. And when it gets that close to an ABC structure, yeah, maybe you'll get it, but then you, you go, you'll get a pullback after that, man. So okay. I just sit there and wait as long as you can. Sounds good to me. Uh, you got time for one more, Tom? Absolutely. Uh, Nova Gold, NG. NG. So let's take a look at Nova Gold. 
The low out here is 220, the high is 668. You're trading at 243. I believe this still, yeah, it's still an exploration stock. Now, do you own this or you're looking to buy it? No, I own this. I'm trying to get out. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it sit, sit tight or just take my losses, you know. Man, yeah, what happened to this stock? Well, they, I mean, they've been trying to get this thing done forever. But now something else just happened to this. One second. Hold it. Yeah, this is at all-time lows right now, man. I just brought this back 15 years. Uh, you know, you just got to, you got to, oh, let's see, two-thirds, two-thirds. You just got to pick a number, man, you know, because I see what you're saying. I mean, since the last year, right, it just went from 680, you know, to 235, right? It's been yeah, a one like a rock though. it's like a it is like a rocket and they don't they don't have any earnings okay let me just see there was always one big owner to this let me just look and see if it's the same one yeah there it is right there oh that's someone new actually electron storage <laughs> look at this fidelity's the second owner and then paulson Oh, man. You know, you, you got to pick a number on this, man. Because you need a sign of strength. It hasn't had one in a year. That being said, though, the gold market in general, you know, has been a dog. Yes. You know, so it's like, okay, what number do you pick? Particularly because you're down so far. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, I, maybe if they cut interest rates, uh, the market will take off. You know, that that's that's a fact, and you know the the, yeah. No, I, I'm I'm with you there. I get it. <clears throat> so listen, man, hang tight. Okay. <clears throat> when you take a beat and it's as <clears throat> like that, I mean, you've probably done it before. You you know what I mean? It's one of those deals that yeah. Because no. because why pick a buck? Right why pick a buck when you're at two twenty five already? Do you know what I'm saying? I yeah. get it. Maybe another thousand bucks, but guess what? The upside is a lot more than a thousand bucks then. You know what I mean? Well, thank you very much, Tom. Okay, thank man. You. you have a great one. Have a safe one, Bob. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. That S&P wants the higher price. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. 
a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Dow, Dow Industrial is down 67, NASDAQ off 88, S&P is off 7.5. And, and, you know, you got these rental car companies, folks, selling the EVs, including the Teslas, like wildfire. And it totally makes sense, man. You know, the last couple of times that I rented cars, um, and I always go to Hertz, the bottom line is that they'd give you a Tesla for almost nothing. But what ends up happening is that when you rent a car, you're always in a different city, right? So you rent the car, and it's like, okay, hold it. I don't know where the, you know, I can fuel up again. So, you know, this is, that's where, you know, a good idea has gone bad. But it, it's so intriguing because... That one, I think, could have been thought through. Um, but anyway, there's going to be a lot of Teslas on the marketplace. Let's go to our man Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How are you? I haven't talked to you for quite a while. Yeah, I'm doing good, man. Yourself? I'm doing great. Thank you. Good, good. What are we going to look at today? I have a uh, Sabonia Stillwater. My question is, I did trade this. It got down to that round number four. And I traded that. I went up to about the upper fives, and I, I took my profits, and I'm considering to get back in. I know we've talked about this in the past. There's the issues with the South African, just issues with, like, you know, power. It's uh, electricity, yeah, the, right. The, the, you know, different <laughs> problems that kind of are inherent to that area. But I just wanted – it seemed like the numbers themselves, it seemed like the stock is – you know, it should be worth more than it's trading for. Uh, just, you know, I, I guess it's, that's still a tamper. In it. I just want to get your opinion on it. Let's take a look. You got SBSW. And this equity, folks, okay, um, is not only, uh, you know, a producer of gold, but platinum, chrome, copper, nickel, um, you know. And nickel's worth nothing right now, by the way. Nickel and lithium, folks. Okay, lithium. The lithium market crashed. It's down ninety percent. Just to, just for a heads up. Um, okay, so let's take a look at this, baby, because there's no doubt that they do make money hand over fist, as you just said, Brent. I mean, you're talking about. You're gonna take in, so they they do it every six months over there. Fifty-two billion. Now they took in sixty billion, last quarter. But Fifty-two billion. And, oh, I see what's going on. This is, this is going to be the first time. They must have basically cleaned out their kitchen table or something. This is the first time they're actually going to lose money in quite some time. They're going to lose two cents. That being said, though, they go right back up next, the next six-month cycle. Okay, so let's take a look. And put this on a weekly. Well... The cool thing about this is that, you know, you could get in it and don't let it trade under four bucks, right? That's, you know, I don't see, there's been no strength in this at all. So maybe it makes more sense to wait for a sign of strength, then get in it. Because you can see that high volume low wants to get tested again, Brett. I got this on a weekly. Let me put this on a monthly and see what happens. Yeah, I see what's going on here. Okay. Oh, this is pretty sick. So, this is pretty cool, actually. Yeah. So, what's happening here on a monthly, yeah, you want to keep your eye on this because there's no way that we're going to, we're testing, 
four months ago. And four months ago, we did 160, 156 million. And thus far, we've only done 66 million. And let me just look at this for a second. One second. So we got, where are you? Yeah, we only have two. You only get five, no, six trading days left. So, you know, maybe just wait a little bit longer. You know, because on the other side, you see that high volume bar there? What is that, three? That's 350. Hmm. Right there. But it looks to me like from four months ago, that's, that's, the, that's the one that you want tested, the one from four months ago. Tested and rejected, Brent. You know, okay. You, do you do you have a date on when the earnings are going to be? Yes. Yep. Uh, March fifth, before the market. Okay, so not that far off. No, it's not. It's not. And they're they're throwing off a five percent dividend right now. Yeah, this is intriguing. Yep. See what is, what okay, has yeah. happened? What has happened here is that you know platinum still. Doing pretty good. Platinum's doing all right. But these other byproducts, well, copper's doing better, but the byproducts in general have gone down on price versus, you know, the higher metals. So maybe they're getting hit with that, you know. But I, I would say that if you can get that test, you'd be in good shape, man, because that contraction of volume is a monster. And I know you've traded that before. When this equity actually starts moving, folks, it moves pretty fast. You know, so. Yeah, I'll just be patient. I appreciate your help. Absolutely, so just, man. Uh, all right, thank you very much. You take care. Okay, I'll you have a great one, soon. a safe one. Thanks, man. So let's go on this S&P, man. You know, we were talking about it's light volume. Now you get a rejection of lower price. So you rejected 49.59. We're at 49.82. We're only down eight points. If I go to SPY, you rejected 493 or 495, and the volume is still tepid. I mean, it, there's nothing. There's nothing here. Let me go to the queues for a second. This market wants higher price, man. Higher price, here we come. Unreal. The trend is on. Look at, look at the queues, man. The queues rejected 421. The queues... It's only 39 million shares. Did they go to the, oh, they did. This is cool. Check this out, man. Okay, this is good. We went, we did. Okay, so check it out. So we went to the high of the lows that were established like three weeks ago. That number there was 422.87. We went to 421.63. The correlation, right now you get 40 million, so let's say we did 45 million versus 64 million and a rejection of lower price. Let's say we're going higher. I gotta go look at Nvidia. <laughs> oh man, this is, this is when this gets dicey. Nvidia's still in the middle. Yeah, Nvidia still wants lower price. Boy, this is gonna be a trip watching this whole thing shake out, man. What else? What other big stocks are coming out, man? Because something, something is going to juice this market out here. Well, let me see. One second. Amazon. Oh, that's 426. 425. Nothing. Yeah. Something's going to juice this market, man. This market wants to bounce. Now, if that's what we get, what you're also going to get is this. You're going to get the note and bond market bouncing. And you're going to get the dollar going south. So the dollar hasn't given us any clue yet. You're down 92 ticks. It held yesterday. The bond market's given us a little. This is going to be an awesome uh, aftermarket out here. See, so yeah, I look at this S&P. We're only down four, folks. OK, stay right there. We're coming right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome, folks. In real time, <laughs> you're going to love this. Dow is up 10, NASDAQ's down 64, S&Ps are up one. <laughs> Actually, you're up one half a point. There you go with price and volume, folks, okay? This is going to be so interesting watching what's going to happen out here. Um, there's no doubt. And, you know, it's, they're, ju ju they're juicing. But you can see there was no, there was no sellers, man. And, uh, you know, I, I think what's going to be really wild is that I think NVIDIA is actually going to be a non-event. Meaning, you know, you're down 19 bucks, you're at 670. Yeah, maybe it goes down to 5, you know, 85, whatever that is. Um, but that's like a non-event because everything else is going to be up and, you know, that doesn't mean that it's not going to start chugging higher again tomorrow morning, you know, because I can imagine how many, well, let's just look at this for a second. Yeah, so this hasn't even done, actually, let me put this on a weekly. So on a weekly, looks pretty good too. And then on a monthly, yeah, on a monthly it's a problem. Okay, now this is going lower, man. Yeah, this is going lower. Monthly, you got a problem, yeah. Problem in paradise on the monthly. Nothing heavy, though. 634. You know, five. What is that? It's 542. No, five, it's 502. Mm -hmm. 502 is a breakout. Hey, we'll know soon enough. Let me just look at this for a second. So let's see. 
Well, we'll see how quick they come out after the close. I'm not as used to uh, NVIDIA as I am the other ones, meaning, you know, I know Google, Amazon, they come out like ASAP. Um, but guess what? The bets are in. You got an 11% move either way, which is a $70 move, folks. And NVIDIA. Look at them. I just love the gooseless market. Shh, 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 shh. Dow's up 35, NASDAQ is down 53, S&Ps are up 5. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get them, folks.